Hi, this is John, and today we've got an S65, Mercedes S65, and we're gonna change or flush the ABC fluid. So the first step is to warm up the fluid. And so we took a spirited drive, and now we're gonna use the rodeo mode to uh, warm up the fluid even further. So I've got the star system connected into the car here, as you can see. There it is. And we're uh, gonna enable the rodeo mode to warm up the ABC fluid, this reservoir is right here. Okay, so we put the car into rodeo mode. There's my assistant. And you can see it's warming up the fluid. And it stopped because it should be to 80 degrees C and then the rodeo mode stops. The next step is to uh, remove this bolt here. It allows us to pull the canister away from this bracket here and uh, open the, the uh, cap here, pull the filter out, and we're gonna suck out the fluid, make sure we get all the dirty fluid out before we start flushing. So the next step is we've removed this bolt, pulled this away, the windshield washer uh, fluid I pulled away and then also these I popped them out of the, these lines I popped them out of here to give us a little bit more room here to be able to get to the uh, filter here so pull this filter out and it's nice to have a thing to put this in but here's the uh, here's the old filter and you can see the fluid there so we're going to replace that in a little bit but the first thing we're gonna do, you can look in there, you can see we've got uh, old fluid and we wanna get that fluid out of there uh, before we pour the fresh fluid in to start the flushing process. Okay, here's how I'm removing the fluid is I'm just using this vacuum pump and stick the hose in there. And we're gonna pull out several of these canisters. So this is what we got out of the reservoir. You can see there, there's actually quite a bit. It took kind of a long time with that small, vacuum pump reservoir, but boy, this stuff uh, really looks dirty. Uh, but that's all removed. And our next step is to insert the AGA tool. So this is the AGA tool um, that I ordered here to help with the flushing. And this looks like it's gonna be really, really handy. So um, haven't used it yet, but we're gonna install this in the reservoir. And so the high pressure fluid will come out of here where it normally went into the filter and instead it's going to come out here go through this hose and uh, through this weight into a bucket and then we're going to capture the old fluid that way as we fill the reservoir so here we haven't even started yet but i'm filling the reservoir with the new fluid look how nice and green and clear that is um, so we've got the tool installed the aga tool and we're filling up the reservoir here and it's almost all the way full. So once we turn on the, the actuation, we're gonna start draining that. And we've got a whole set of fluid here. You can see all the, uh, the brand new uh, Pitocin. And so we got, I bought 11 liters and I'm planning to use 10 to have one left over to kind of top up with. So, so far I've poured two in just to fill the reservoir. Running it in four and aft mode, and the fluid is coming into the bucket here. I'm pouring fluid in here at the same time to keep the level high. We can't let the pump run dry. See, here's the level right here. I've got this light shining into the level there. Here's our AGA tool. ready with these liter bottles to pour in. It can go down pretty fast in here and you can never let the pump run dry. So you want to have your liter containers already full, I mean already open, so you don't have to mess around with the caps.
So I'm just pouring the fluid in where the dipstick goes and I'm watching where the AGA tool is. Making sure I don't get too low. Trying to keep it about an inch or so from the top. It doesn't take long to pump that out. sure looks like new fluid being pumped out. So I'm hoping that we're getting the old fluid flushed out. All right, so we've poured all of the fluid through the reservoir, pumped out. I was a little surprised. This looks really clean coming out, even at the very beginning. The other thing I noticed is that the tool pushes in and out into the bottom of that. And if you push it in too far, it feels like it actually um, gets pushed back out. So uh, anyways, here we go, removing the tool. And here's our fluid that we pumped out. So you can see there's quite a bit of it. When it's that deep, it looks real dark, but I don't know if it's really as dirty as it looks there. Now we're ready to replace the filter. You can see the old one here, and uh, here's the new one. One interesting thing is uh, when you look up the car, which is the 2012 S65, you can't find this filter. It's actually the older part number. Um, you can see it right here. And when I went to the dealer, they couldn't they couldn't find the one for this car. Well, it turns out these are these older filters are the ones, uh, and they're supposedly a. 10, uh, it was a 10 micron and now it's supposed to be a 3 micron, although on here I don't really see anything that indicates that. Uh, to remove it though, we, uh, you can see these, you can rotate this like that, and then these guys pull out like that. So you've got an O-ring here, got to make sure we keep that. And then here's our filter, keep the O-ring in the bottom there as well. So here's the new filter going in. Again, make sure the O-ring is in there. Goes back in here like this. That O-ring is in. And then we put this back in here. Like that. And then rotate these guys so they lock in place like this. All right, so there's the new filter. Okay, so now we've got the new filter going back into the reservoir. I want to make sure that that uh, gets seated in there properly as we're tightening it down. You can kind of feel it when it's in there. ran the dynamic test in the star system and um, here you can see we got the uh, actuation was okay that's where you hold the idle at about 3,000 rpm while it goes through and actuates just to make sure that everything's okay so it looks like we uh, were successful okay so here's that bucket of fluid and really it didn't look as bad as maybe you would think based on what came out of the reservoir but here's the last bit being poured out after it's settled for a while and you can see there's some some streaks in there coming out. You see the little bit of streaks of dirt and you know right there you can see some discolored fluid coming out and maybe there's a few particles. If you look way back in the bucket there, there's a few particles, but overall that really doesn't look uh, the fluid that was pulled out of the reservoir. You can see it's pretty dirty. Um, it's not diluted like the other, the other fluid that we flush diluted with brand new fluid. This is all 100% used fluid. And by the way, the car has 30,000 miles on it, just to give you an idea of how much service, and it's never been changed before. So anyway, that gives you an idea of what the, what the old fluid looked like.